All right, fam. How are you guys doing? Fan of here. When a cheater goes to a AGDQ, the speed running um, you went the biggest speed running event in the world, guys. So let's check it out. AGDQ 2011. Oh, this is a while back. Twelve years ago, guys. The third game stunned quick marathon and the first to feature Halo Combat Evolved. The oh, okay, okay. Uh, which version of Halo is that, guys? I don't remember. <laughs> Run would be done by a notable runner at the time, Cody Miller. Though unknown at the time, it was later revealed that Cody Miller had spliced his full game runs. Oh, that cheater, bro. He's a cheater. Some of them are legendary. Some of them are legendary. Uh oh, uh oh. Doing it on legendary as well, man. So he, he, they flew him out. They they flew out somebody that's splicing his runs, guys. The estimated time for the speed run was two hours. Hey, bro. He, he, look at the venue, by the way, man. This is super, super way back when it just started, right, guys? Look, there's. Usually they have like a hundred, two hundred. Uh, at least 50 chairs in the in the background that you could just watch the speed runs going on in. Uh, yeah. Alright, go time. Stop. <laughs> oh, there you go, start it again. Before you're ready. He's trying to put on a, you know, show here, guys. I wonder if they paid him for this, guys. Probably did. <laughs> So, uh, apart from being on Legendary, what's one of the hardest parts of running this game? Hey, he took out, he took out that, 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 was it, what are those ones called, Gremlin, that, one of those real quick, it wasn't that hard, right? Okay. Are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah, let me get back to you. If it's Legendary, it should mission, be. Pillar of Autumn. He should be dying a bunch, goes guys. goes pretty smoothly, with a time of just under 9 minutes, and the- Not bad, not bad. Run is off to a good start. Today, top runners will complete Pillar of Autumn in just under 5 minutes. Though this is done with other bound tricks that are only possible on Halo Anniversary and not on Halo Classic. While the first mission did go smoothly, they'll quickly change once we get into the second mission, Halo. Oh snap, oh snap. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna use the, uh, uh, the the um what do you call it the coolant trick because uh as i can't even see his mouth move guys what the yeah i just want to kill everybody okay. in this mission you're able to do a grenade jump up the side of a cliffside in the beginning saving time and preventing enemies from spawning and allowing you to simply walk to the second part of the mission he's not doing the signature skips that he's supposed to be doing right guys oh my gosh Cody says he does not want to do this as he just wants to kill everyone. <laughs> and then he dies though. As you can see, now he has to return. This clearly works out. On serious difficulty, they do make you do stuff like hide and shoot. <laughs> it's what? Oh, it's not simple for me. That's a long time. They're starting to catch on, I think. Here, guys, they're like, "Yo, wait." He's not doing these expert skips or nothing. He's not even attempting to go for them. How long this is where we first start to see Cody struggle, as he repeatedly dies to elites and can't progress further. Alright, we've got a few more donations. Defend the, the joke of the tomato too. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, Kevin Beck decided that he'd give you something else. Like, running from them at the start there, not even shooting at them, guys. Like, what is going on? There's a bunch of grenades on him as well. I swear, I thought you used the grenades a lot, but um, at least the grenades to finish all the enemies here, but not even doing that. Fifty dollars from Robert's Ten Bill. Big money right there. Well, let me see what happens. Dang, bro, I didn't know there was actually blood splatter in this game. Look at that. What the heck? I thought they did they remove that in later games or something, man. They... I forgot. I I forgot how to do this part. Let's see, I'm gonna. Maybe I should take out the two elites as soon as I, you know I can do the next level on here. Oh, son of a bitch. 17 minutes in, and Cody starts to think about lowering the difficulty down to heroic. If that sounds strange to you, it is. The only two difficulties that are really speed ran in Halo are easy and legendary. The, the chat thinks you're playing too aggressively. And people generally don't switch difficulties in the middle of runs. All right. Nobody does heroic, bro. 
But I would never play a legendary, man. Screw all that. The game is way too hard to be playing at all. It's speedrunning, guys. On legendary for me. I I'm an amateur, bro. I, I would never even think about speedrun. I couldn't even finish the first Halo 2 uh, attempt uh, that I did before my Xbox got, like, uh, we lost to my Xbox, man. I didn't, I wasn't even able to finish Halo 2, guys. Oh, snap. <laughs> but yeah, don't see that, the blood splatter that much in, like, newer games. Like, Call of Duty, I think, right, guys? There's not, but, there's not blood in Call of Duty, is there? Man, this isn't going well. No. He's gonna, he's gonna have to give it up, you know what I mean? He's gonna have to come clean. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to lower the difficulty or something. After 25 minutes, Cody decides to lower the difficulty to heroic. This means he'll have to restart the mission, erasing 15 minutes of work and 2 minutes of progress. We have a question, Cody. Oh, yes. A does light asks, Cody, are you doing AOTCR fall, silent cartographer launch, and or keys shield bump? Keys shield bump, no. Assault in the control room, maybe. Silent cartographer, definitely. Good. Don't know what the, the flip he's talking about. Probably just a speedrun stuff, right, guys? I, I, would, I would go to Legendary for the library. Yeah. Okay, Does Light also asks, will Cody be willing to do 343 Guilty Spark Pacifist for a donation? Right. I don't know how to do that, Run Pacifist. S sorry, he doesn't know how to do it. Just under 43 minutes in, Cody completes Halo. Uh, you Two missions down, eight to go. Alright, alright, he got up to the part where he needed to complete in the last one, but... <laughs> Just because I haven't practiced this game in like two years, this is pretty tough. Oh my gosh, she said he hasn't played in two years? That's a major red flag. Why even say that if you're trying to fake it, guys? Sad bro, sad bro. We don't... And uh, Sam Skinner, given five. Whoops. You of us know her. Nice. Sam Skinner, oh. Taking self-deaths as well, brother? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, don't back up off a cliff. What's that? Oh, an RSDA form? Yeah. Wow. Um, because oh. it has its own sub form. Oh, gosh, bro. He didn't even practice before the run. He just said, hey, I'll go out there. I'll go out there, man. Sad, sad. Bob the Champa, only Cody Miller will be playing Halo. No one else is taking the controller. Did you show us? Chats even... Chad's trying to t tell somebody else to <laughs> take over the game. He's playing so bad, apparently, man. Yep. And Legendary, those guys are gold. So it's actually, uh, it can be so much more difficult on your life. Contrary to what Cody's saying, gold elites are actually the strongest elites in Halo. And this part is definitely not easier on Legendary. Uh, uh, so Halo. Is that for you? Wait, did he say, I thought it... I thought I heard that wrong, bro. I thought he said it was going to be harder on Legendary, but he said it's easier on Legendary? What are you doing? Oh, I got one for you. Oh, at least I'm not nervous anymore. Yeah, sorry? At least I'm not nervous anymore. I'm not nervous anymore. I'm not nervous anymore. Oh, right. Yeah, he's, 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 he's saying that, like, annoyed, like, raising his voice kind of, like, you know, I hope you heard me right kind of voice against that guy, man. Ah, auto aim. Oops. Uh, auto aim. <laughs> Here, Cody is attempting grenade jump that will allow him to jump to the third floor of the hangar, skipping a large portion of the level. You know what? We'll just do this normally. Though he quickly gives up and decides to do the level normally. Okay, don't do that. Is why is he using that like little rifle thing? Like, I guess it's to stun them. 
do not need to press that button. There's a button. That well, the arrow is pointed to. This answers the question. Um. Like I said, I don't remember because I don't usually go this way. Cody starts getting lost in the level as he deviates from the normal route. Though this is odd as speedrunners usually still know the casual routes through missions. He's forgetting how to play the game even, guys? Bro. No, nobody has really challenged what he's done though, guys. Even the other people that know how the run's done haven't really ch they're just, they're just trying to help him so far. as serious time as it was on Legendary before and after that. <laughs> so oh, yeah, well, um, if you skip, the level ends here after this speech because it gets to uh, with the triggers. Right. Wiping off the sweat on his uh, leg as well, man, but yeah. So One hour in, I don't think they they ever really challenged him that much, guys. So they they just kind of went, went, went with uh, him going just on her heroic and stuff. Oh, well. So an hour and 21 minutes into the run, Cody beats Truth and Reconciliation. Cody was able to trigger the early ending of the mission, which generally only happens after making the previous grenade jump to the third level. Though Cody didn't make the jump completely, he still went high enough to hit the trigger required to trigger this glitch. Okay, that's, that's a good convincible kind of thing to do, because, you know... I have seen some AGDQ runs and, uh, you know, they don't always hit the tricks that they do, that they need to hit, because it's hard to do some of the, the tricks, uh, and, and they do, like, go alternate routes, but he did actually partially get it here, so. Saving some time and bring us to the fourth level, Silent Cartographer. Actually, explain a few things. Maybe it just works if you try. Have you actually run any Hello Games yeah. before your yeah. famous yeah. Hello 2 legendary? I, I did some individual levels. The run they're talking about here is a single segment deathless Halo 2 legendary speedrun. If you played Halo 2, you know how brutal that legendary difficulty can be. That's why his Halo 2 run was seen as such a big accomplishment. This run actually earned him a spot in the 2007 Guinness Book of World Records. Hey bro, going on Guinness now. And was verified by the very reputable Twin Galaxies. It was later found that he had actually cheated and spliced runs for this record. Which is probably not a big surprise at this point. Sad, bro. Can't even do a single run on Legendary, man. You gotta practice for years and years in order to, to do uh, consistent Legendary runs, guys. Years and years. Like, it has to be your full-time career. <laughs> we'll apologize for that. Cody's about to try. I know this because we watch like Summoning Salt. Summoning, summoning Salt's a Halo 2 thing. Right, is a sequence break. Normally, when you'd come down here, the door would lock before you could um, get through it. But if you. Go around? If you. Uh, uh, <laughs> this does save a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, this. There we go. Wow. There you go. Oh wow, yeah, that skips a lot of levels. <laughs> now, yeah, another skip. Here comes the hard part. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh. You have to clip the little ledge and then <laughs> down on the slope. Yep. Oh wow, that's tricky. Oh man. That's oh. really, really <laughs> tricky. Despite failing a few times, Cody eventually makes it down the drop and now must head back up to the surface. So I don't know about that, I'm just gonna go the hard way. Oh. <laughs> Cool, when you're shooting their shield, and they're like invincible, man. Only facts. Like, <laughs> would you drive me there, then? Uh, yes, I would. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we can, we can do that. Is he gonna say as usual, I'm gonna play this level normally now? Ten seconds. I've already messed up. That's where I'm coming. You're about to log into this like, you don't to do this. It's maybe an attempt to trick what? Oh, I see Are you kidding? Oh, no. <laughs> and that guy came flying in. That sword is so cool, by the way. I'm wow. <laughs> I have a feeling that he wouldn't have none of it. See it coming. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Grenaded. 
How's he over here now? It looks like that one mission uh, called Halo, man. An hour and a half in and Silent Cartographer is done in one of the fastest missions you'll see this run. Eight minutes. Now I keep saying, I keep like thinking when he says he's done, that he's talking about being done with a run, but no. <laughs> now it's time for Assault on the Control Room. This is probably the part of the run where it starts to get really messy. I know that might be surprising because we're an hour and a half into a two hour run and we're not even halfway done. He, he keeps putting his like hand on his leg like he wants to leave you guys. Done? But trust me. Happens. Cody is going to try and drop off a bridge early in this mission. This will prevent enemy spawns and is a major time save. Yeah, at least he knows the time saves guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's a quite asp atmospheric uh, view right there. <laughs> um, a lot of luck. Very good precision and luck. <laughs> ah, barely. How much time did I say? Um, it's the difference between doing a level in 20 minutes versus 5. Nice. There you go. Yes. Oh, you yeah, got it? You got it, it seems. Oh. They are attacking. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, I had to go on through. No! Oh, oh. Sure. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. Mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous if that works. Cody once again fails trying to go for the trick and decides to do the mission normally. If you'll notice the timer, Cody had spent about seven minutes trying this bridge jump. Seven minutes. I mean, some of them just try to hit the trick for so they can show off that they do it, but that's consistent. You know, so I don't blame him, actually. After dying on the normal row of the mission, Cody decides to come back and, and try the bridge jump a few more times. Alright, let's move on. Yeah. There's a lot of enemies there, man. But it's not it's not a uh, legendary, but still heroic is still looks hard right there. You saw how much how quickly he died right there, man. I'm not sure. Uh, so I think got sniped. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> this is about where you would have dropped down. Yeah, but none of these guys would have been here. Oh, wait, I didn't know they would all be there. That time was easy. I gotta take this slow. You had a jinx of it. <laughs> so I guess the optimal thing is bringing out that pistol to stun them, guys. I just thought it would be using the, the assault rifle thing, but nope. Yeah, see, this is, you can go right to this part because you can grab the banshee there. You guys think he's gonna quit the run? <laughs> he already lowered the difficulty, man. But I know legendary's hard, but yeah, man. Oh, that's the way he skipped it. When there's nobody in the level. No one has challenged him on stream yet, guys. Oh, that's impressive. It makes it so much shorter. So you gotta go through the triggers. Yeah. Ridiculous. So, no, I so forgot. The day of him doing him. I'd be so embarrassed. See, if I had uh, enough health, I could grenade jump to the other side and run yeah. across, and it's easier, but I don't have any health. I can't do that. Yeah, the game just. Okay, Cody, there's someone in the chat who wants you to stand still in a corner for 10 minutes. <laughs> because he's going to donate $1,000 if you don't die for 10 minutes. Oh, really? So, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Find, find a spot and stand still for 10 minutes. Because he, he thinks that's better. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I don't know. I thought Starting people now. wanted to see action on the screen. At this part of the mission, Koi's going to try and get to the Banshee before the elites can get there. He could then take the Banshee and fly it down to the next section of the mission and clear out the enemies there much quicker. <sighs> I don't know the optimal thing to do in these runs, but you know, he's he's trying to he's getting actively attacked with no shields, trying to go in the banshee. Oh, no. You know, 
At least, at least it doesn't take that long to respond, right, guys? Nice. You can't play like a tool assisted speedrunner. At least I haven't seen anyone play Deathless on Legendary yet. Oh wow, is that actually like a shortcut? Getting that Banshee? And I'm sure there's like some tool assisted speedruns with zero deaths. I don't think they're meant to get that. Mm -hmm. On Legendary. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. Yeah, Get the rest of the levels are so much no easier. Oh, we're we're talking about this, and that's the story. Oh man, putting back yeah, here. Like, I, I mean, I just sit there and just mash the button. Of Halo, inside of Halo. So, <laughs> what about inside out Halo? <laughs> Donate that you leave the comment on the chip and not the. Oh, oh, oh man, really? So I, th I think speedrunning actually makes you a worse gamer. Because you, you just automatically think you can go through games just like super fast the first yeah, time. Yeah, I have that. I know, right? Uh, I'll be, I'll be like doing it confident when I'm speed running, but then I'll be dying to like this pixelated enemy. And it's like, oh snap! I'm not the best in the world. Oh, <laughs> when, you're play, when you're playing something like this, it's like, oh, yeah, just what? run past this <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because oh, see, my problem is I never play this yet. part. You know? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I do. Every platform I play. <laughs> Koi beats a mission two hours and twenty minutes. Yeah. Into How long have I been doing this? Who's yeah. keeping the time? Dude, has be he been trying the same mission for like an hour, guys? Uh, <laughs> now on. Oh, much easier from now on. Like he knows those thousands of viewers are in the in the chat, bro. Yeah. He's like, damn, bro, I gotta complete this. I got the re record and everything. They usually invite the people that hold the record for these sort of events. So as we start the 6th mission, 343 Guilty Spark, Cody mentions that it'll be much easier from now on. And if you remember from earlier, Cody had said he'd go up to Legendary for the next mission, the library. It's all I didn't know he could change the difficulty after like completing a mission or something. Also in this part of the run where Cody stops trying to do any form of time saves and kind of just walks through the rest of the levels. Meaning the run is pretty much just it a casual mess around with people at this point. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to. You're supposed to play through it with all the cool like skips, bro. Like a you know professional, right, guys? Uh, on Halo 2, yeah, but not on this. I did in Halo 2. Single segment. I need the first guy to do Halo 2. At this point in the run, Cody starts to get repeatedly lost and seems to have no idea where he's heading. See, so now I've forgotten my way. See, so now I'm like actually legitimately lost. Yeah, people want to hear your voice more after that. What? I just start back here? Yeah. No, but they, they want to see him. Hey, bro. He's like, oh snap. I think I messed up here, bro. I need help. <laughs> Can, I, can somebody help me with the run, bro? Just finish later. Did I just take... At this point, they're amused to see what, what he's gonna do, because, you know, he's fumbling the bag a little here. I just took myself back to... Is it gonna be like a five-hour run? He, he, doesn't he have to use a restroom or something, guys? Do you do it midstream? I'm lost. Cody finishes 343 Guilty Spark at about 2 hours and 41 minutes into the run. After finishing the mission, he decides to lower the difficulty one more time to normal. The next mission is the library. Cody said normal guys multiple times that he was going to play this mission on legendary difficulty. He said, <laughs> but given that we are 40 minutes overtime with three missions left to go, it makes sense why he chooses to lower it down to normal. Might as well play it on easy, that's what I played it on. Though, this doesn't stop him from dying a few more times. Yeah. Dang, bro, it's casual play to the max. Go to high speed Halo and you can actually see me look good. I actually did go to highspeedhalo.net, and this was the first thing I seen. Unfortunately, I didn't see anything speedrunning related, so I guess we'll just have to take his word on it. Cody finishes the library at 3 hours and 6 minutes into the run. We have 3 missions left and we're already an hour and 6 minutes over the estimated time. The next mission is Tuba Trails, one of the harder missions for casual players and one of the longest missions in the game. Yeah, he's just dying over and over guys.
got our start level for uh, like the. He, he, he presses start and restarts it before it responds him. Alright, I might uh, open up the uh, menu for him automatically. Yes. Thank you. Oh. I, I think he needs some help. I know, I do. <laughs> Dang, bro. What? Because you can, uh, if you grab a ghost, you can push the ghost through the, um, through the wall there and kind of break the rest of the level. It's pretty cool. <laughs> you know what, I should do the ghost I was gonna say, are you just gonna tie some the rest of the level? Nah, here, I'm gonna do the ghost thing. I always try to. He's still trying skips, man. He's one hour and thirty minutes late. <laughs> Defeating the game, bro, he's probably gonna be a five hour run. That's how, how much I'm estimating. I just wanna see the aftermath of this though, guys. Give my hands. I know you guys are hating me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's the final run. Oh, they were just there. Uh oh. Do I get out on the right side or the left side? Three hours and 49 minutes into the run, we are done with two betrayals and now on to keys. Alright, so how long have I been doing this? Uh, three. Oh, I, I love you guys for putting up with me. <sighs> the time we lost here. Oh, yeah, and see, I have to do the whole thing because I don't, can't do the shield. Well, last level I'm good at, so yeah. no worries there. But why, why can't you just. You know what? Not. I don't even. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I will We're be just charging you. That's the second time we've had a runner saying. I will be totally <laughs> honest. I no, have no, no idea what is. Like, number one thing you want to hear about. Dang, it's like his, his first playthrough, man. Saying is where am I? That's what I'd be thinking when I play a game. I don't know what I'm where to go, guys. I mean, uh, sometimes I had to consult YouTube to help me. Where am I going? No, yeah. number one. Thing I'm gonna do that in Ninja Gaiden. Where am I going? No. <laughs> I can't right. figure this game it's, out. It's, it's <laughs> right. it's so left. Just over four hours into the run, and we are finally on the last mission in the game, the Ma. I should note that this run has now doubled the estimated time, and we still have a mission to go. It depends save. on the disc. Yeah, when they. Uh, when they invite you, they, they ask you an estimated time for you to complete the run. It's always going to be over the, you know, the world record, guys. Maybe even up to an hour after. An hour longer, guys. This is actually, like, if you try to play... Alright, so I, radio I think I still remember most of the tricks on here. Yeah. Squidward, I think. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm going to play cool. I still know all the good tricks, guys. <laughs> No, so I think Squidward would be helping Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I donate for food nipple? Whoa. For what? Food nipple. And that is an Easter egg. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no on the food nipple. I just wanna get this done. <laughs> <laughs> you and like her in the vicinity of that grenade, you're gonna be incinerated. Wait. Got the good old shotgun here. One more fusion reactor to go. Yeah, I don't think you shot the first one. Yeah. I do like the setup they have on stream. It's like one half webcam, one half game. Nowadays it's, uh, I forgot how they set it up. I didn't remember seeing. Nowadays they got so much be better production value though. It's yeah, it let me in here, so. The, uh... You put off the 360. I'll try. I love the. I still love the arrow that was pointed at us when we were driving. Yeah. Yeah. Arrow that went like this. Pony it up. Five bucks. What is this? Tell you what. Give it to me and I'll do it. Yeah. 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 Guess what, guys? What's that? Like four, four and a half hours? No. No prob. Yeah. Yeah. At least he knows when he's gonna end the 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 run. They're actually clapping, man. So after 4 hours and 17 minutes, the run is over. And if that's the last you think we've seen of Cody Miller, guess again. Cody was actually invited back to AGDQ 2012, where he would speedrun Halo Reach on Legendary. Though we didn't have to lower the difficulty this time, he was still 22 minutes over his estimated time. That's not that bad, though. Hey, at least he practiced a lot for that one, guys. <laughs> Instead of saying he didn't know where to go. Snap. They didn't even catch him yet. Fact that Cody had agreed to play live and demonstrate his skills when he knows full well he, he had to just end up adding himself as a cheater in the most humiliating way is simply mind blowing. He was ultimately done in by his own ego. 
I'm doing 15 minute works and two minutes of progress is one of the long, Ross lines I've ever heard. Dude went to AGDQ and did a blind let's play. <laughs> I'm laughing and looking around expecting everyone to laugh. But said all looking so in a, everyone all looking on impressed was gold. Facts, facts. But yeah guys, that's a video. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for the support, man. See you guys next video. Later. Later, guys.